Friends, welcome in Deutschland, also near Österreich, a very rainy one at that. We are here to drive the 2017 Bentley Molzan Speed and the 2017 Bentley Molzan Extended Wheelbase. So kind of a twofer episode. Actually, it's not going to be a twofer episode. It could be two separate first drive reviews. So while we work on those, why don't you and I do a tech review and let's start where we always start the engine. Okay, so this is something old, something new, and in this case, something blue. Uh, it is the 6.75 liter, or as Bentley calls it, the six and three quarter liter twin turbo V8. Now, way back in, I want to say 2012, Mean Gene and I did a whole Bentley episode, and he talked about the history of this engine, so make sure you go back and check out that episode. Uh, but here we have a completely revised engine. Now, this engine was completely changed last year for the then new Bentley Mulzahn Speed, and there were a number of changes, pistons, piston rings, connecting rods, a whole bunch of stuff, there's a laundry list of things that changed to provide more horsepower. So the base Molson, to kind of recap, was 505 horsepower and 752 pound-feet of torque, and that is the 2017 car. Uh, now moving up to the speed, it's 530 horsepower and, I think you need to sit for this, a somewhat comical 811 pound-feet of torque. Let me repeat that. 800, that's the first number, an eight, and 11 pound-feet of torque. There's a couple things going on here. Uh, number one, this engine, it was uh, built by Steve Brown in crew, and we met him when we saw him last year. Uh, and then number two, this one, believe it or not, they're doing cylinder deactivation in these cars. It's not a function of trying to bring the car into a lower tax band or to skate a gas guzzler tax in the US. Uh, really what they're doing here is to drive overall efficiency when you're on the highway. Uh, and then number two, there's a different, uh, basically the engine control unit was changed last year in the Molzan to make the car more efficient and get that more power. Now that unit with some tweaks for the base Molzan has made it to the 505 horsepower car. So that's everything here. Now we need to press on to driving dynamics. Now when it comes to driving dynamics and the bits that affect driving dynamics, there's some familiarity here as well. Now, uh, a little recap. The 2009 Molson, when it first came out, uh, that had an air ride system, and so does this. But what the engineers and crew did is they changed the control system, which changes the tuning. So this is the speed version. There's also a base version, which is a premiere or a signature. Uh, that one has a completely different setup in the tuning to give a completely different ride. Now, we're going to spend some time talking about that in the full first drive review, so make sure you come back for that. But then the real bigger change here is what affects sound, because at the end of the day, this is an ultra luxury car, super luxury car, whatever you want to call it. So what the engineers did was change the bushing. Specifically, they've made them larger in really important points, like where the subframes are attached to the car, uh, where those dampers here are attached to the top of the strut tower, as well as in the rear subframe. Now, putting all that aside, there are some other changes. Now, you and I spoke about uh, active engine mounts in Porsches a lot, and most recently in the Mercedes-Benz AMG C63S. Well, this now has active engine mounts, but not for the same purpose. So in the case of the Porsche and the Mercedes, it's to stiffen up the car to make the car handle better. Here, once again, the focus is sound. Now, are you starting to get a theme here? We're going to cover this in the full first drive review. Now let's press on to some performance bits. Uh, carbon ceramic rotors, front and rear. Allow me to geek out a bit here. Notice the wheels. They are turbofan wheels and they are directional. So there's one direction on this side and a totally different direction on the other side. Very nice touch. And then here, this Bentley Motors has been laser etched onto the wheel. Um, you know what? I think now we need to kind of geek out on some other design details. 
So for those of you that have been watching the show for the past six years, and actually by the time you see this episode, it's going to be very close to our seventh birthday, which will be July 8th, 2016. And we have a very special celebration planned this year, so make sure you come back for that. Uh, anyway, the point is, uh, you probably know if you've been watching all those years that I am a frustrated designer. Uh, and there are some details here that... <laughs> I just got to show them to you rather than tell you about them. So the door handles look like regular door handles, right? And there's like chrome back here, but the inside of the door handle is knurled. You know, we talked about the knurling on the headlights in the, uh, in the Bentayga. Well, it's on the inside of the door handle here, inside of the inside door handle. And it's even on like the organ stops on the inside of the dash, but wait, there's more. So the B here, you see this on, this is the speed model. Of course, this is the one that I like. And notice the inside here, it's like darker mesh. But in a regular Molzon or in the extended wheelbase, this is a different type of mesh and different color here. And then there's another trick, but I got to show you on the extended wheelbase. Now this is the piece de resistance when it comes to design here. And it's one of these little details. So you know how everybody's talking about light signatures in their cars? Like when you go down the road with like a Cadillac Escalade, Dave Leone, he talked about how he's got this very unique light signature in the front and the back. And if I'm honest, totally agree with him because an Escalade, you only see it as an Escalade. But here, uh, the guys at Bentley did kind of the same thing, but notice the signature is an actual B in the tail light and it's not just the light itself it's actually the dimension of the tail light because it kind of like bows in where the opening parts of the bee would be a lot of bees there but you get my point point. and then over on the headlight here check this out uh, it's a different headlight granted no knurling here well a little bit here and a little bit here but the important thing to notice here now i if you guys hadn't seen the Molson, one of the best points of design of that car was the headlights. Very polarizing, but one of the best points, at least for me. And that's because these lights were a little offset from here. But what the designers have done here is now they're on the same plane. And the logic is to make the overall car look wider. And that's in conjunction with the grill, still stainless steel, but it's, it's veins instead of just the mesh. But on the speed, it's veins plus mesh. So get it? So on the regular Molson, just veins, and on the speed, it's veins and mesh. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. And you know what? As kind of like a bonus question, let me know if you like the veins like this on the new Molson, or if you like the mesh before, because I'm still up in the air on that one. Anyway, now we need to kind of get to the business end of this thing. And the reason why they call this the extended wheelbase, and that is all here. So it's an extra 250 millimeters. Uh, what the engineers have done is they've pushed the rear axle uh, more to the back of the car to allow more room in the rear doors, hence the leg room. Now, uh, we're gonna spend some time talking about this in the full first drive review, but all Molzans have totally new seats, as well as some other changes to the interior. But as you can see here, this is the first class type seat from an airplane with a footrest. Uh, but this is actually only on offer as a four place configuration. Now there are some other bits which we will cover in the full first drive review, but there's one flash item here and that is tablets. These aren't just video screens. Uh, they go in and out of the back of the seats. Like you can see over there, uh, the tablet is recessed. Where here I've got it out. These are full on Android tablets that you can use in the car to control infotainment, navigation, even see the driver's speed, or you can take them out of the car and use it as a regular old Android tablet to download apps like, oh, I don't know, Moto Man TV, which you can download for free at Google Play or Apple iTunes for your iOS device. Uh, so with that, what do we got? Well, we have a lot of work to do in two, not one, two full first drive reviews. And this, Let's be very frank, this is a very rare and unique car. There's only going to be a few of them made, so I am actually very excited to drive this with you both here and here. So make sure you come back for that. But with that, I want to leave you guys with a question. Uh, and the question is this, the Molzon, it, uh, to me, you know, I've had a special spot in my heart for Molzon since the beginning of the show. So I am somewhat biased. But my question to you guys is this, if you are in the segment of this type of car, and frankly, this is what, Rolls-Royce, Maybach, and now this revised Molzon. My question is, what would you choose? And that's, just don't tell me what you would choose, but I wanna know why, but also where you would use it, because now 
if you've seen this, there's not just one Mulzahn, there's actually three, and this one is a completely different use case uh, altogether. So let me know which one you would choose, why you would choose it, and where you would use it. And you know what, for good measure, let me know what region of the world you come from, as well as if you have any experience with cars like this, let me know in the comments below, or via our social media, Moto Man TV on Word, Moto Man TV on Word, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And with that, I wanna leave you with two things. Another reminder to download our fancy new app. Uh, and number two, a fun fact. So this has these tables in the rear. Uh, I spent some time talking with the engineers. Uh, take a wild guess how many parts it takes to put together one of those tables? The answer, 761. Until I see you next time, bis später.